So you think that I'm going crazy just because I'm talking to you? Hello, my name is Otto and welcome back to the channel. This is a tutorial on how to make your DJI Pocket 2 videos more cinematic by using just a few different tips that I like to use. On this video, I'll show you four examples that are very easy to do so you can apply them next time that you're shooting a video. The push in and the pull back are also known as the dolly in and the dolly out. These are two basic movements where you push in the pocket two and then you can pull back just like this. And these two movements can also be achieved by walking forward or backwards. Pushing in will help focus on a particular subject. And the pull back will help reveal more of the scene around that subject. When doing the push in or the pull back, sometimes I like to use the lock mode. And this way, the camera is going to stay locked on the same direction. On the Pocket 2, there are two ways to do it. One is by holding the function button, which is the one next to the record button, but you need to keep holding it. The second way is to hold this other button that is on the right side of the joystick for about one second until you see the locked symbol on the display. This way, you don't have to keep pressing the button and the camera will remain locked until you press that same button again to unlock it. When we use tracking, I think that most of the time we use it to track something or someone that is moving around. But what I like to do is to track something that is not moving. That doesn't make sense, right? Let me explain. If I try to pan and keep the subject in the middle of the frame at the same time, it usually doesn't go too well. And that's where the tracking becomes very helpful. I just need to activate the tracking and the camera will keep pointing at the subject and this way, I can get results like this, where the subject is not moving, but the camera is. If you want to shoot at higher frame rates for that smooth, slow motion, you need to know that tracking at 4K 60 frames per second is not going to work, but you can shoot and use the tracking at 50, 48, and 30 frames per second. If you want to do the tracking at 60 frames per second, you can do it at 1080p and at 2.7K. Active tracking is not going to be perfect, and sometimes it will stop tracking for a second. So my best advice here is to pay attention to the video clip and repeat the process if you need to. The way to activate the tracking on the DJI Pocket 2 is to double tap on the screen and you will see a green mark on the subject. And at this point, all you have to do is just start recording and move the camera around. Before we keep going, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Back to the content. There are many ways to do review shots, but one of the easiest ways is to place the pocket two behind something that will cover most of the view or all of it. And then you start moving the camera to reveal what's behind that cover. This is going to give the viewer a more interesting way to look at the frame that you're shooting. Sometimes you might run into this problem when the camera is behind the cover, it's going to try to focus for that cover. But when you move out of there, it's going to change the focus for maybe less than a second, but you're still going to see that quick focusing and you don't want to see that. So a little trick that you can do is that instead of going out of cover, you can actually do it the opposite way, which is going into cover. And then when you go to edit, all you have to do is reverse the video clip and it's going to look like it came out of cover.
For the final tip of today, we're going to be mixing a few things around. Combining different movements and camera angles are going to make your video clips way more interesting. For the next shot, we're doing a slow pullback, but instead of doing this movement, we're gonna have the person holding the camera take a few steps back, and the subject is going to be walking straight forward, unlike these avocados and tomatoes. So we're going to be getting this sense of movement where the camera is going to be pulling back and the subject is going to be getting away. Wait, we also did talk about review shots, and review shots are also good for transitions. Let me show you this right now, or let me try it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. My name is Otto, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.